Yeah, officer. They're all sitting in the parking lot fuming uh, because their easy days are over. And, and uh, they all say, you know, like, what are we going to do? And one of them says, um, hey, you know, I got an uncle who lives in southeastern Oklahoma. And uh, he said it's really cheap to live there. So maybe we can all relocate and uh, live on the cheap for a little while while we figure out what we're going to do. And so they all move down to southeastern Oklahoma and they all move into a trailer park together. Um, because there's a few of those in southeastern Oklahoma. <laughs> cheap and uh, they start looking for jobs and they say well, they ask their neighbors in the trailer park what do we do to get a good job and everybody in the trailer park says go to college and uh, you can get a fantastic job with good pay and get yourself out of this trailer park and they say that sounds great um, <laughs> they're not fans of the trailer park and uh, so they all go to college and they get to southeastern Oklahoma State University in Duran Oklahoma y'all been there yes. <laughs> you have Joe that's Joe. He's been there. Um, anyway, so they, they all go and then they, they bring out the course list and, and, they, and they say, what do you want to get a degree in? And because they're nursery rhyme characters, they're interested in things like English history. And so they all get degrees in English history. And, um, and then they get done with college and they realize it's a worthless piece of paper to have in southeastern Oklahoma. Because <laughs> the people at the McDonald's said, ah, you're overqualified. I need you to go somewhere else. But then you know, the people at Walmart say, no, I'm not qualified enough. So, uh, what does this have to do with working at Walmart? We don't even sell books. Um, so, they want to make some good money. They're tired of living on the cheap. They look around southeastern Oklahoma. They're out of money to relocate again. So they see that there's a high demand for uh, methamphetamine and moonshine in southeastern Oklahoma. Um, and also that it's tax-free. Um, <laughs> which they like, because they also like Mitch McConnell. Um. So, they go to the Walmart, they go to the hosiery section, and they take some hosiery out of the packaging and they put it over their heads, and then they run over to the pharmacy section and they steal all the Sudafed, because they use that to make methamphetamines, um, and then they start a little business. It's funny, when we're in the South, and we mention methamphetamines and moonshine, it's some invariably... It gets really loud. Some, yeah, it is. And then we come, uh, I don't know, north of Tennessee, and they're like, that's not funny. <laughs> and it's always dangerous in the South, because you never know if they're going to be offended by your making fun of meth, uh, because... Some of them cheer when you say methamphetamine and you don't know, like, are, are they just doing that? Or <laughs> do we need to ask them to leave before it gets out of hand? Anyways. <laughs> Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how'd you get your life so scary?
Today, and I got the most Oklahoma looking mug that I could find. 